and what a fight that was in the first round against Michael Caden. Hell of a performance from the big sad boy, but it was not enough to put away, to defeat the American blood fighter. Alex Cologne came here to win it all, but first he has to go through the winner of last year's Outlaw Cup, the man who beat Darko in the first round. It's Big Lou Nixon. <laughs> and be the outlaw for the second year in a row. He told me earlier tonight he's given Alex Cologne one minute. One minute. And this match is set for one fall. Referee, when you're ready, let's ring the bell. Cologne does not look faced by Lou Nixon. Lou Nixon has got all the credentials. He's as legitimate as they come. But he has stood across the ring from the blood fighter, the man who's done it all in deathmatch wrestling. But he has not yet won a tournament here in the UK, here in Europe. And he starts off by laying those forearms into the chin of Lou Nixon, who's returning some of his own. Off we go for our first semi-final. Alex Cologne has given up quite a bit of height and weight difference to big Lou Nixon. But on the other hand, Lou Nixon gives up a ton of experience to Alex Cologne. Alex Cologne came to Europe to become the deathmatch champion of Europe. Lou Nixon came here tonight to defend his crown. Lou Nixon now taking away the legs of Alex Cologne and now Alex is hooked on to the right leg of Lou Nixon. Could we see a submission finish early on? Lou Nixon clutching those ropes. Obviously, that is not a rope break in a death match, but it gives him some leverage to escape that submission hold. And now they are armed with light tubes. Alex Cologne just casually blasting one over the head of Lou Nixon. And now the intensity is starting to pick up with these light tube exchanges. Lou Nixon rocking now. He's starting to look a bit stunned. He's looking dizzy, stumbling round the ring. And Alex Cologne is just unloading over his head. If you took a drink for every light tube that's been used so far, you'd probably be in hospital. And it's only the first semi-final and we've got 200 light tubes in the main event. The main event is gonna have the whole ring wrapped in barbed wire. And now Lou Nixon with one of those kicks that he has made famous here in the UK on the deathmatch scene. Straight to the chest of the blood fighter. Blood pouring from the head of the blood fighter. And those new trunks of Lou Nixon's, they were white, 
to start the night but I can imagine by the end of this match they're going to be covered in red Oh, now we saw Lunixon do this to Cassidy over the line in the games of death. Light tube shattering across the chest. And Alex Colon is straight back to his feet. Getting rid of those shards of glass and he's asking for another one. And look at the size of that light tube bundle. It's got a handle on the end. But Lunixon isn't going to use it in the way that it was designed by these sick fans at ringside someone brought that contraption to the outlaw tournament tonight and it's been used in an unorthodox manner by Lou Nixon as he just blasts that whole bundle of tubes onto the exposed chest underneath the shirt of Alex Colon now Alex Colon trying to reach for those ropes to get some leverage himself to get out of this submission by Lou Nixon Colon now rolling to the outside Trying to catch a breath for a few moments. Armed once again with the glass light tubes. More exchanges here on the outside. The rise faithful. Providing some of the plunder, some of the fuckery as they say. And as always, the deathmatch outlaws on hand, the whole crew at ringside. Alex Cologne shades of Big Joe when we saw Big Joe versus Lou Nixon getting the fans to hold him up and now Lou Nixon doing the same this is England's Manus Wrestling Show fan participation pushed to the limits being a mere spectator is impossible here at Rise Underground And those kicks lethal from Lou Nixon, but Alex Colon is just absorbing them. Lou Nixon favouring the kicks, Alex Colon favouring the chops, but most of all, favouring the light tubes. Look at those chops. It's unbelievable that Alex Colon is able to sustain so many kicks from the educated feet of Lou Nixon. <laughs> and now back in the ring, once again unloading with the light tubes Lou Nixon will be looking to make up for his defeat in the final of the games of death last year and look at that strike combination from Alex Cole but Lou Nixon returns with a good punch the same punch that he won his last boxing fight in under a minute with and he also unloaded one on Dark World tonight but Alex Cologne's rolled him up and he's got the win, I can't believe it, we did not expect that! <laughs> Lou Nixon was just getting cruising and what a shock we have witnessed in this first semi-final! And the first Outlaw Tournament finalist! thing that we expected here tonight I was just saying that Lou Nixon will be looking to make up for his loss in the final of the games of death last year he wasn't even pinned I thought it was all over we saw that good shot from Lou 